Welcome to Manan. I'm Roland Wan. As the official representative of the Republic Embassy on this planet, I'm here to help all citizens of the Republic should they require aid. Oh, of course. Of course I'll do whatever I can. But I'm only a simple diplomatic representative of the Republic. I doubt I can be of any use to the Jedi Council. An ancient and forgotten race. And you think it may be here on Manan? Hmm. Well, perhaps. But if you want to get information about that, you'll have to do something for me first. We were using a submersible reconnaissance droid in the ocean surrounding Otto City, and it was... damaged. It took a data recording of the outside of the city before being driven off by the Firaxan sharks. But while it was returning to the surface, it encountered difficulties and was disabled. Its automatic systems floated it to the surface, but we could not retrieve it in time. The Sith were applying subtle pressure to the Selkath authorities for some reason we've not determined, and were able to delay us long enough that they could retrieve the droid before we did. The droid's data centers are heavily encrypted, so it will take the Sith several days, we believe, to get to its data. It was captured 12 hours ago. It is imperative that we get it back. It's heavily guarded, we're sure, in the Sith Embassy here on Manan. Since we have no remaining soldiers to spare, and certainly not our elite ones, we have no one capable of entering the Sith base and retrieving it. That is what we would ask you to do. There are several leads we've been working on to get into the Sith base. Any of them should work for you, although it might be wise to concentrate your efforts on just one. The first method that's possible is to help us interrogate a Sith prisoner we managed to catch after he tried to infiltrate our base. He's being held just inside our enclave. We think he may be able to give us the passcode that the Sith give their informers to enter the base. He has proved most resilient so far. We managed to pick up a crate of blank Sith data cards, the type they use for pass cards. The encryption system to unlock them is very difficult, however. But if you are more skilled than our technicians, you may be able to gain access that way. Good. It is a very intelligent and skilled individual who can crack the matrices of a Sith encryption system. But there is one last method you should know about in case all other options fail. The Sith have got the Seltcalf to give them exclusive use of one of the main hangar bays. Visiting Sith Masters use this bay to land, then take a speeder over the water to an external entrance to the Sith Enclave. The luckless spy we mentioned earlier had a pass card to that hangar on him. While it is surely well guarded, it may prove to be the most direct route. Here's the card. The Sith base itself is very heavily guarded. If they became aware of your presence, I fear you would be quickly outnumbered and killed. Here is a pass card to get you inside our facility. You should find all you need to get started in there. You can choose whichever of the methods you want, as long as you get in the base and get the data recording back. Which method do you think you would like to try first? Good choice. We've been working at that for a while, but it's been too difficult so far. Maybe you'll have better luck. I wish you luck in your task. Should you retrieve the data recording from the droid, return it here to me, and we can see about getting you that information. I can't talk now. I've got to get this call to load it up before my ship. So you're the one who's going to try to get into the Sith base, eh? Huh. 
Good luck. You're going to need it. This is our main computer room here. We got the box of pass cards we got from the Sith, but we haven't been able to break their encryption yet. We have been able to decode the numeric system they use, but there are holes in our terminal sequence patterns. The strings of numbers that end the code sequences. If we could complete those strings, we would have the key to their encryption system. The encryption system is composed of six matrices. Each is based on a mathematical method. The holes we're missing are the final number in each of the strings. Most are simple, but the final two matrices seem to be much more difficult. Well, the second last matrix has a pattern looping back on itself, or something. And the last is divided into smaller subparts. Maybe the pattern for that is within each part. But I have to admit, all this is a bit over my head. I haven't even been able to slice past the first matrix, and I've been at this for hours. I've ruined a dozen cards already. But the good thing is, we have a whole box of them, so you don't have to worry about running out anytime soon. Since Roland said you were cleared, you can use the computer freely. I'll be here if you have any questions. Yeah, what do you want? Your... Hey, great! You sliced the encryption on those cards! They change the codes regularly, so you'll have to use it pretty soon or not at all. That Jax is insane. Only people who have business with the Sith are allowed inside the embassy. If you have a pass, why are you bothering me with it? Just go in. You there. I don't recognize you. How did you get in here? Your pass card is out of date, and I don't recognize you at all. We'll get to the bottom of this soon enough. Commander Gran, report to the security desk immediately. You authorize this person to enter? I don't know them, and their identification doesn't match up. They're spies. What? Sound the alarm! Droids, destroy them! <laughs> You cannot win! <laughs> 
You there. I don't recognize your past co commander. You are. <laughs> You cannot win. Thank <laughs> you. 
How can I help? Can I suggest? Yes. What can I do? What? Thank <laughs> you. 
I do. Ah! 
Can I suggest? Yes? Yes?
Sure.
Didn't work. Ah! <laughs> 
How can I help? You can try. Can I suggest? Yes, certainly you must have heard of the destruction of Taras. It's your honorable friends that committed that atrocity. Use the force then. Look into your heart and you will realize what is truth and what is lies. You have been saved from more than you know. Given time, the Sith would have turned you fully to the dark side, and you would have betrayed your world gladly. Get in here! Wait... I recognize you? Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Taris alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. As you wish, my eager apprentices. We shall remove this thorn from Ma- <laughs> You cannot win. I'm 
respects the peace of Otto City, Your Honor. But the Sith are a violent people who leave violence in their wake. I have three soldiers in the infirmary. If the Republic soldiers were more capable, they would not have suffered such serious injuries. Are my soldiers to be punished simply because they won a fair fight? I hardly call six against three a fair fight. The Sith are cowards who attack only when they have the advantage of numbers. They were provoked, Your Honor. Jedi are renowned for being arbiters in times of need. We will investigate. <laughs>
this? Huh? Sure. I hear you've been appointed as arbiter in Sunri's trial. My husband is innocent. Please don't let him go to jail for a crime he didn't commit. Well, Sunri is... He's a cripple. There's no way he could have overpowered the Sith woman like they claim. That's true. I'd forgotten about that. Let's not forget that he would have to have been considerably older than the Sith woman. Hmm. I'm a Jedi. And one who is living alone in the Shadowlands until recently. That keeps you in shape, damn it. We're talking about Sunri here. And there's no way he would do something so dishonorable as hit her from behind. Sunri's a decorated war hero. He's a hero of the Republic. Find the real evidence. That's all I ask. sent me, Summary. I'm here to get you out of this mess. The courts went and made us arbiters for your case. Just like old times, eh, Jolie? You come swooping in out of nowhere to save my tail from the fire? You saved my wrinkle butt more than a few times as well, friend, if I recall. But there'll be time for catching up later. Right now, we need to focus on the case. The case is a complete frame-up. Anyone looking at the evidence could see that. Or so I thought. But the Soulcast seem to think that there's... Well, if there's enough to go to trial. There aren't any witnesses. All that... Well, I was at the hotel, I admit. And I did meet Elasa there that night, but... It's not what you think. I, uh... I was working with Republic Intelligence. We were pretending to feed information to the Sith. When I turned Elasa into a double agent working for us. It was going well, too, until she turned up dead. Hmm. Maybe the Sith had found out I was turning her and had her eliminated. But let's look at the facts they've given. Alassa was brutally killed. Think about that. She was a Sith, trained in battle, and I'm just a crippled old man. My war injuries make it difficult for me to walk, even to hold things. See how my hands are shaking? How could I kill a Sith warrior at close quarters? I ask you! Further, they say they found my heroes crosser to crime scene. Could I leave my war medal behind if I killed someone? Even if I'm not that stupid. Obviously, the Sith planted the cross. And what about the lack of forensic evidence? Skin and hair samples, clothing fibers. Why isn't there anything like that at the crime scene? Sounds like an obvious frame-up to me. I hope you can see how the Sith are manipulating the cell cat, and probably even you to set up this against me. We need to get this over with quickly and clear my name. Anything else I can help you with? I guess you could interview witnesses at the hotel where the murder happened. But I think you'd be better off investigating the Sith themselves. Maybe you could find some proof they planted evidence to frame. Anything else I can help you with? Go ahead, ask. How would they know? I heard some of the witnesses said that too. I wonder if the Sith have been putting pressure on people to get... You should ask everyone about that. Very well. Won't you... Deal? That's an awful lot of money. Is there something you're not telling me? Don't be so suspicious. The Republic is generous. We pay our mercenaries well. Makes sense, I guess. All right, I'm in. When do I start? Just show up at the Republic Embassy tomorrow and speak to our representative there. I'm sure he'll have some task he wants you to start on right away. I hear the Zerka Corp got kicked off of... I hope you're here to play some Pazak. 
I don't come here. I prefer to make my credits gambling, but I never turn my back on an opportunity. Maybe this can be a profitable exchange for both of us. Hey, here's an idea. Why don't you ask the Merc? You don't waste my time now. They don't bother me, and I don't. You don't waste. They don't bother me. You don't. So clear. I am not for hire. Perhaps the Mandalorian or the Achani can help you. The... Ask whatever you wish, though you... Perhaps you should ask them. The most... On my world, those too weak to defend themselves deserve to die. A murder is justified if you have the strength to kill your victim. Is there anything else you would know? Yes, I'm... Sorry, but I'm not looking for a contract. And yeah, they say he's paying double wages for mercenaries right now. Ganderous. I haven't seen you since the Republic broke our ranks at the Battle of Malachor. Ergeron, I see you've got some new guns to add to your collection. Times must have been profitable for you since the war. Very profitable. When the Republic defeated our fleets, I learned a valuable lesson. It's far better to be a freelance mercenary in a war than to be a soldier for the losing side. If you're here to offer me a job, I'm not interested right now. I got so many offers, I can't keep up as it is. Maybe that Iridorian skull slacker at the bar, or the Ajani nerf herder cowering in the corner is available. Well, nothing. Except that the Ichani are a bunch of fade dancers prancing in a battle with tiny weapons not fit for Mandalorian children. They hardly wear any armor because it slows them down when they run away. But the Ichani are better than the Iridorians. Those savages keep hacking at fallen foe even after death, mutilating the corpse out of pure bloodlust. I even heard they'll turn on each They ain't saying, but the price... Not really. They say some Republic war hero killed her. Maybe you should check out the Republic Embassy. I'm a realist. It was war, after all. And even though the Republic... And with this war, there's plenty of... Or anything else. So why are you telling me? If you go... Mighty generous of you. A little too generous, if you ask me. Hey, kid. It was a good thing you did there. Almost brought a tear to this old man's eye. Then steal a dusty storm. I have no desire to speak to you. I know you. Yeah, what do you want? Your Oh, it's you again. Didn't think I probably should cut back on the drinking. But but I don't really want to talk about that right now. I'm just What is there to investigate? Obviously Sanri is guilty, but I don't really want to talk about Oh, oh come on. Seems I'm not Hey man, clear out.
You're the one defending Sunri now, huh? Well, the hotel's open for you. And I guess I gotta answer any questions you want, too. The Sith woman, Alasa, rented a room in the hotel. An hour or two later, Sunri comes in and goes to her room. A couple hours later, I hear a blaster shot and see Sunri running. He can't run good because he's a cripple, but he still was going pretty fast. Yeah, I'm pretty damn sure he left. No, I don't think so. I mean... No. No way I'm lying to the court just because you want to get your Republic buddy off or whatever. No. What do you want? Elasa used to rent rooms here every week or so. Then Sunri would come by a couple hours later. It doesn't take a gene. The city can Yeah. No. No. What do you... There were only two other people in the hotel when it... Normally I don't let his kind in here. I'm a rep... The other... Don't know any anything else you... Well, okay. You with the cell, Kath? You here to see me? I told the damn fish everything I knew. What? Sunri, I only heard of once or twice in passing. Some sort of old-time war hero against the Sith. Seen him around in the hotel. Kept the rest of the building up half the night with her damn... I'm not saying anything like that. What they did in that room in... And there isn't any rule against Sith and Republic seeing each other for personal reasons. Although if you think her Sith master didn't know, <laughs> you must be fool. Oh... Well, Alasa was a Sith, so of course she'd have to have some... I didn't see... 100 credits isn't enough... Thanks. I was in my room, minding my own business, with the latest cop being still alive, and therefore smart enough not to stick my head out immediately. I... You can't tell me that someone who was running like that, and he was pretty... Yes... You again. I be, you can't skip. I ah, uh, one hundred. Thanks. Huh? Sure. Kun <laughs> Sunry murder trial, are you not? Hmm. This case is not at all what it appears to be. The many currents, might I say, flow beneath the surface. This murder is much more complicated than it may first appear. Sunry and Elasa are proxies for their governments, and both sides want the other to fail. You can see the journey uh, by the footprints. I'm saying they both had something to do with it. They've both... If you want to get to the bottom of this murder, you might see... No, 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 of course not. 
You, you would have to be <laughs> devious. Heed my advice, Jedi, and you may yet find the truths in this murder. Proper culto training permits. Hey, I'm working here. Go talk to the diplomatic rep. He's gone. I hear you've been appointed as arbiter in Sunri's trial. Sunri's. That's. Mm. And there's. Find the real. End. I hear you've been appointed. What? Don't. Do now, now, Elora. Yes. Yes. After all these years we've been together, he just. Just. He started seeing a loss, a loss. But even though I'm sure that Harlot was only using him, I maybe the Sith woman attacked him, and, and he had to defend himself. But even though... That was a long time ago. Fine. Jolly! Soon, old friend. Oh, I grow weary of... Rodian? I didn't know there were any Rodians on the run. Well, except for Tyler. Okay, so maybe there are a whole bunch of Rodians on the run. But what does that matter? If he planted evidence at the scene, it's a clear sign of a frame-up. The evidence of a Sith conspiracy keeps getting st Go ahead, ask. ask. How would they know? I heard some of the witnesses said that too, but I swear she would... I wonder if the Sith had been... You should ask everyone about... Well, I... It was... But... Uh, my... Uh, I hope anything else I can... Very... Once you... It is an honor to see justice served, and I will see Sunri is. The man I saw leaving, Sunri, probably left after I heard the blaster shot. The guilt of the accused is apparent even this early in the trial. You are feareth me, the well-known Pazak player. I wonder if we can trust the word of a... <laughs> of course. Feareth me. What? Well, I came out into the hallway after hearing the blaster shot, 
and saw Sunri over there limping down the hall out of the building. <laughs> A very obvious point, Your Honours. The accused was seen leaving the scene of the crime after the blaster that killed Elasa was fired. <laughs> You mean, actually see him kill her with my own eyes? Well, no, but I don't think there could have been <laughs> Glue Paul the Rodian, you were staying in the hotel the night of the murder and saw... <laughs> this is clear, then. Lupor. Don't do it, Glu. Lupor can king David Nibora. Lies! Slander! Lupor. You, Elora, are Sunri's lawful wife. Your husband was a hero in the last war between the Sith Empire and the Republic. He was crippled in that war. Do you not believe he'd blame the Sith for his injury? Yes. I guess he would. And there you have motive. <laughs> he was a good man, but his injuries pained him terribly. But he always held on. Always. I don't think he could have beaten her or anything like that. But a blaster? I, I just don't know. I wish to call forth... Are you a war hero? Yes, that's right. And I don't regret it. Indeed. Would you say that you dislike the Sith? Of course I hate them. Trying to take over the galaxy every chance they get, killing millions of innocents? Pure politics. Were you in Alasa's room on the... Well, yes. I knew she was a Sith. And she would be trying to pump me for information, of course. So I, I just simply turned the tables. I was working on her, trying to turn her over to the Republic side, trying to turn her into a double agent. But that's kind of ruined now that she's been murdered. An obviously false story. I have proof here in... I... I... Ah, what? You were having an affair with us. No, I... I think we can see the answer clear. <laughs> Yes, I think they would. They wouldn't want to lose one of their sources, even though I didn't give them anything. They... they might have killed her for her failure. Or they might have thought she'd turn against them or something like that. The Sith Empire is not the... <laughs> Of course she was. Why would a young, beautiful Sith woman... I don't know. The medal had gone missing some time ago. I never found out what happened to it. It's possible the Sith had... Supposition... I think the facts in this case are very straightforward. Sunri was having an affair. Witnesses saw Sunri fleeing the sea. I am confident that... <laughs> oh, that doesn't mean a thing. <laughs> The Sith would not leave... No, Your Honors! I... 
The Republic will attempt to have him free, Delora. I am sure. <laughs> Sunry?
Yes? <laughs>